hi everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are welcome to my channel dn vlogs life my family channel so you are here because you saw the title facebook sponsored ad scam yes so this is how i got scammed on facebook sponsors ad and what i don't want you guys to go through this is still fresh in my memory and let's just get started because it's such an emotional roller coaster, and I do not want anyone to go get themselves into this situation. <sighs> so, let me start off with how it all started. So, this all started on Wednesday. Today is Friday, okay? So, on Wednesday, I got contacted on Facebook, and I have a Facebook page, and my Facebook page, I've been working on it forever. I mean, I've had this page since 2000 and i believe 12 or so i created this page and i've been working on it forever i work so hard to build the community that i have on there and um finally i got a rhythm finally um i clogged over 200k and i was so happy i was excited and once in a while i do get messages from people saying oh can you i want to place a facebook sponsored ad on your page and i don't know much about it so i don't usually respond back and they always come up with these big big numbers you know very very big numbers like oh they're gonna give me this amount of money per post some of the numbers goes up in the thousands i tell you in the thousands and i'm just like it sounds too good to be true when something sounds too good to be true you run you run and you don't look back so i was like so i don't know what happened on on wednesday somebody contacted me and they look very genuine now look at can be deceiving and they told me or oh, you know i didn't want to do a facebook sponsored ad and i got into talking with them and they said you know go into the you know accept you know click on this link to accept um the invite so this is one thing never ever click on links but i went and i saw that the link actually came from facebook itself everything looked legit so i proceeded i clicked on it so the next thing that they asked was that i should add my page um add a page you know add them to a page so i was really leery i was like um are you sure are you sure now what happened on wednesday was that the person kept on nagging the person was really really pushy you know when somebody's like have you done it now have you done it now have you clicked on the page have you submitted have you done this and my husband just came in my husband is my saving grace so my husband just came in and um i told myself look there's this person doing this and my husband was like what's the rush what's the rush so i told the person that oh please can you give me a day just to look through this and the person started shouting at me you know you you know when you're shouting on text yeah they started saying oh if i don't want to do business with them i'm gonna lose out a lot of money that I'm, you know that i should think better that well, i just wasted their time whatever so i just like forget you moved you to spam then as if i didn't learn my lesson as if i didn't learn my lesson so the next day thursday which was yesterday I got an email so I got an email from a company and they said they do Facebook sponsored ad and I was looking at the email I asked them and I said are you verified are you this are you that and they are you legit they said they're legit they gave me their number you know I called the number which was a whatsapp number using a whatsapp number I saw the number was a business account I was like okay this sounds legit my husband hadn't got come, come home yet so I said this was legit so I, I I called the person once I called it declined and the person sent me a message saying you know let's text and I was like okay that didn't ring any bell now the first person what happened with the first person when the person started talking to me i felt as if you know when you feel heavy hearted i felt as if somebody sat on me i couldn't breathe so that was my first sign that this person is not good i always go by how i feel my husband knows me i always go by how i feel my friends you know my acquaintances know me that when i say oh i feel this way i feel that way it means let's not do it so i i the second person on thursday I didn't have that heavy feeling. I didn't have that heavy feeling. So I was like, this sounds legit. And we talked through stuff. And the person was so nice. Like, 
sure gave me my space i was i didn't want to talk to the person for two hours the person didn't rush me once i started talking to them again they were like okay so i started going i started going so by i believe by two in the afternoon earlier i had already concluded with person i'd added the person to my page so let me give you let me tell you something so there's something on facebook called page roles okay so when you add someone to your page you can add someone you can um add when you add someone add your page to um a business kind of like a business manager please correct me if i'm wrong for those people that are into sponsored ad please i want you to comment down below give us tips because there's not enough information on social media about this so what um there are different page roles so your facebook page which can be monetized mine is monetized is different from your facebook profile page if you want to know more about that i have a link in the description area that talks about how to monetize your facebook page and all that and how to make money and all that jazz but there are different page roles and this is what they do so you have a page role for admin there's a editor there's a moderator there's an advertiser and the list of the role is an analyst so the admin has ability to do the following manage the page role and setting so they can change all the setting they can add they can delete they can move your they can do anything they want on that page the next they can also edit the page and add apps so they can add bad apps spamming apps different apps they can add so many apps onto your page they can also create and delete posts as a page they can send messages to people to scam people they can do all that kind of things they can also respond to and delete comments and post on that page they can remove and ban people from the page they can create ad and they can view insight and insight is like okay how is the page doing are we you know are we getting more reach are we getting more views are, are we doing the right thing kind of like youtube analytics and they can also see who published as a pay as the page now that is the role of the admin so by me adding that person or that company as my admin i gave them the keys i told my husband i said it is like you buying a house and you paying for the house the house is mortgaged and everything you furnish the house the house has all your belongings with your children everything in the house and you go out to the street you go to an homeless person, somebody you don't know, a stranger, and giving them the key to your house. And the person can come in and you can't come into your house anymore to get your kids, to get anything. You are helpless. So indirectly, that was what I did. So when I looked at my page, I could still access my page because I'm the creator of the page, but I didn't have any privilege. You know what privilege the person, so when the company got that, the scammer i'm gonna start calling them the scammer so when the scammer got that they made themselves the admin and then they moved me to analyst an analyst is the lowest le level okay so what job what did i have privilege to do on my own page i only had privilege to do two things i could view the insight to see how the page is doing and i could see who published as the page so that was all I could do on my page. So um, so that was around two, three o'clock. I, I did have, you know, I, I didn't know all this was going on. I got home and then it was around uh, seven, nearly seven o'clock. I had to post something for a client on my Facebook group. I have a Facebook group which is growing also. Um, and I noticed that all my scheduled post were gone were gone and i was looking i was like what is going on with facebook so i went in on my facebook page on my facebook group so facebook group i could do changes i could do stuff so i went in on my facebook group now the thing is this when you make someone an admin of your facebook page they own all the groups you own so they own all my facebook groups every single thing they owned every single thing so I went into my Facebook, um, my Facebook group, and I was trying to do this thing for this other client who has paid. I'm very nice, you know, paid, and I was having issues. Eventually, I was able to 
do the stuff for them on my Facebook group. Now I went back to my Facebook page like what is going on? And one other thing that they did was that once you change and you give them the ability to be the admin of your page, they told me that I should change my page from the new look. So Facebook has a new look where I was, everything was good, all my most current posts was there, everything was, they told me to change it to classic. So you can change from Facebook's new look to classic, you can change from classic back to Facebook. So anyway, so I changed it. I don't know what was in my head. I don't know if somebody did juju on me or something. I don't know. The only thing I know was that my husband wasn't around and that shouldn't even have been the case because usually when I have questions like this and I'm curious about something, I ask him and he usually says, no, yes, let's do this. Let's try this way. So it's my sounding board. So it was like around 7.30, I'd been dealing with this. 8 o'clock, 8, 7.45, I was dealing with this. I'm looking at the clock because I'm trying to, I was dealing with this. So I called my husband and I noticed, well, I noticed that my page, I couldn't access my page. I could go into my page because of course I created my page, but I couldn't do any changes. So I looked at the page role and I looked at the who owned the page. There's a way you can look at it in the Facebook business creator to see who owns the page. I'm going to put a link down in the description area for more information for y'all. But when I looked, I saw that it was a total different company that owned the page, a business that owned the page. It wasn't the people I was talking to that I gave access, that I made mistakenly gave access. It was someone totally different. So there's a section on Facebook that when you check, you can check for your page, uh, management history so that shows you know who claimed who, who claimed ownership who had ownership did something change all that stuff it has an history Facebook has an history of that so I went in and I saw that right when I spoke to them when I gave them their access they removed me from owning my page because now they are the admin right they removed me from owning my page they dropped me down to analyst and get this the people I worked with they removed themselves and then they put a brand new company and that brand new company there was a uh, business there was no way I could even get a hold of, you know reach them so I started freaking out I started freaking out I called my husband I was shaking I've never I mean, I've been nervous like that before when I, you know, when I lost my babies. I've been nervous like that, like I had panic attack. I had a meltdown panic attack right there. And the next thing, this is TMI, I started feeling throwing up. Like I want to throw up. I went to the bathroom. I, I, everything I ate that day was out of my body. Everything I ate was out of my body. I was pooping, I was everything, I was nervous, everything was out. This is like your aunt's work. This is over, this is 2000, this is nearly 10 years, nearly 10 years worth of work gone down in the drain. So many people I support, so many people I help, you know, on my Facebook page, so many acquaintances, everything was gone. They had access to everything. So started my journey to what I had to do. Me and my husband spent over an hour trying to figure it out. And the funny thing was this, when I was walking earlier on with the person, the person was saying, oh, can you, we would like to sponsor you everything. My Facebook manager, and this is someone that works with Facebook, I have a Facebook manager, so the person is a Facebook employee, contacted me and wanted to schedule a meeting with me today. So my head didn't even, I didn't even know, I think the devil was at work, but my head didn't even calculate that. Wait and talk to your Facebook manager and tell her about this situation and tell her is it legit, legit or what. My head didn't calculate. So I, I sent a message to my Facebook manager who is asleep right now, you know, and I just was texting her like, I'm freaking out. What is going on? Can you help me? I know you're asleep. And then I have a phone number. So I was calling her, but she didn't pick up, you know, because she's at, she's at home. She's sleeping. It's nine something, you know. So anyway, what I now ended up doing was that 
I ended up searching online and then I noticed that there was a part, I'm cutting the story short now, I noticed that there was a part where you can say, tell Facebook ad, that somebody has changed the role of your page, somebody has claimed your page. So the link I put down below shows you how to do it, shows you what I did. So I reported, I created a case for Facebook. If you have issues like this, always create a case with Facebook. Facebook is really good with looking at their cases. I created a case with Facebook. So it was like 9.30 or so. And my husband was like, it's time to sleep. Shall I don't worry about it? Go and sleep. You know, let's sleep. We did our morning, our devotion, me and the girls and my husband, we, we prayed and we went to bed. I couldn't sleep. So around 10 o'clock or so, I started tossing and turning, tossing and turning. I couldn't sleep. My husband was like, are you okay? I said, I don't want to wake you up. Let me just get up and go and watch a movie, a boring movie. Maybe I'll fall asleep. So he said, okay. So I got off the bed. I went downstairs and um, I turned on my computer. I started researching again. And then I found, of course, that was when, you know, I found some more information. And then I started playing around, started playing around. Then it was like at 10.30, my spirit just said, and I know it's God, it just said, check your WhatsApp. So I checked my WhatsApp and I saw that the company, the business, the spam business had sent me a message saying, oh, what's going on? And then I told them, I said, oh, I'm trying to, and I was very polite. And this is something about me. Even if you're, if you're scamming me, I'm still going to be polite. So I told the person, I said that, oh, I'm... Um, I am, I, I, I just, I, I need to get to my page. I need to do some work on my page. The person's like, oh, okay, I'll look into it. I gave them 10 minutes. I didn't hear back from them. I kept on refreshing to see if I've been put back as my admin. I didn't hear anything back. Then later on, I got a message from them. They were like, they were like, okay. And then I said, oh, have you done it? Have you changed it? They're like, we're still looking into it. So this was like at 10.50. And then the next thing I got, I said, oh, is there any issues? They said, oh, technical issues. So my spirit just said, oh, go to your Facebook and refresh and refresh. Keep on refreshing. Keep on refreshing your Facebook page. And I refreshed my Facebook page and I noticed that I have been changed back to admin. My page, everything was given back to me. All my data, all my analytics, all my money, everything, all my, everything was given back to me. <sighs> and then I checked my WhatsApp and the spammer was like, what happened? What did you do? Did you remove us as the owners, you know, to help you with this? And I went to my Facebook inbox, you know, and I noticed in my Facebook inbox, Facebook ad changed had sent me a message and said they had fixed the problem. Facebook sent me a whole message of instruction of don't ever do this again. Like <laughs> this is what is, this is why protect yourself. One thing I didn't do on my Facebook business side was I didn't do two-way authentication. If I don't two-way authentication, there's no way for them I've gotten into my account and made all these changes. They would have needed a password or something. I don't even know. I didn't do a lot of things. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. And that is why I'm telling you this story. So long story short, the spammer, they've been sending me messages like, oh, we're going to pay you. They, they doubled the amount of money they were going to pay me. And you know, I was saying that it's thousands and thousands trying to entice me back, but I'm not going to be enticed. So my plan right now is to educate myself more on Facebook sponsored ad because it is legit. Facebook sponsored ad is legit, but there are scammers everywhere trying to get your money it is legit okay yeah it is legit but there are scammers everywhere trying to get your money so please 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 study all these things i hope my lesson has taught you a lot thank you so much for watching this is a long video but i need to tell someone because i don't want you guys to face what i faced and if you want to please follow my facebook page discovery natural and i'll talk to you in another video and please for subscribe thank you so much Bye.